The recently discovered heart bleed bug underscoring the need for better cybersecurity around the world. And who better to talk to about this is Ron Gula. He's the founder and CEO of Tenable Network Security. Welcome, Ron. Thank you. It seems like attackers are getting much better, much faster. Um, are companies keeping up? They have to. They have to react to these attackers by being preventative and reacting to vulnerabilities in real time. Now, um, spending mon money alone, though, won't fix the problem. So what, what can companies do? Uh, absolutely. I mean, I've been doing this for 20 years. Every year there's been a hot product to buy. It gives the illusion of being secure. What we need to do today, though, is tell companies they have to have a policy. That policy needs to be used to figure out how much risk they actually have. Now, uh, around the world, it's all about mobile these days. I mean, everything, you can do your banking, you can do your shopping, pretty much everything on your mobile device. Is that creating more risk for consumers? In some cases, it is creating more risk because the mobile devices can be insecure. Mm -hmm. In other cases, it really helps increase your security because all your data can be centralized to one place, such as in the cloud. Now, I want to go back to that heart bleed problem, though, that bug that we discovered. I mean, how can consumers and companies better work together to prevent these problems from going forward? Absolutely. So consumers need to be concerned about having their identity stolen, having their passwords reused. So anybody who has uh, access to a social media site or email that claim to be vulnerable to heart bleed should be changing their passwords. At the same time, home users who have things like mobile routers, Wi-Fi devices, or even versions of uh, security programs, they may need to be patched by Heartbleed. Now, looking ahead, I mean, can companies do this alone, or are we going to start seeing regulations, like governments stepping in and saying, hey, you need to meet certain criteria. I mean, you're based in Washington. What's the buzz there? Absolutely. So there's all sorts of regulations, and nobody's figured out how to regulate writing secure software, right? If we could do that, we would have solved this problem 20 years ago. The problem's a social problem. So depending on the industry that you're in, there's probably a wide variety of compliance regulations you need to meet. The bottom line, though, is that meeting these compliance regulations should not be a destination. It should be a start, because the hackers are going to always be one or two steps ahead of whatever regulation you're dealing with. Now, you work with clients all over the world. Mm -hmm. um, is there a common theme or a common uh, sets of problems that they're most concerned about? For large organizations, for large networks, the common theme is people really have no idea how big their networks are and what is on it. And because of that, it becomes very, very difficult to defend it. Now, is technology keeping up with the new ways hackers are, are getting at, into these systems? Absolutely. There's many, many tools to find these advanced attacks, or even old attacks from many years ago, which are still effective. Perhaps just simple things like password guessing. Those things haven't changed. What we really need to tell people as an industry, though, is to adopt new forms of technology, such as virtualization, which can help people make defensive changes to their network much faster than before. What is the top thing you're uh, most worried about right now? So I worry about people not doing anything. We've had a lot of major incidents over these past few years, right? We've had Heartbleed, we've had Target getting compromised, and a lot of organizations I speak with still think that they are not affected by it, but they are. Now, um, so walk me through the next six months, 12 months, uh, what are the things that you as a company are, are recommending to your clients? So the big thing that we're recommending is to audit 100% of your network. Typically people think in our industry about vulnerabilities, and the vulnerability is something that can be fixed with a patch, perhaps from Microsoft, perhaps from Apple. But what we want people to do is audit all of their network, how they're using the network, the defenses with that network, and when they find an issue with those problems, they want them, we want them to fix it immediately. Thank you, Ron.